First day of summer school if you live in Broward <laughs> County and go to a public school. And it's the largest summer enrollment they've ever had. Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela is live at Wilton Manor's Elementary School where the superintendent visited today and held a news conference. Hatzel. So Janice, we caught up the, with the superintendent, Superintendent Robert Runcie. He's been visiting several schools throughout the county starting early this morning because he wanted to check on how schools are doing on this first day of summer school. Got to tell you, this is a six week program and a, a very important program because of what we've seen in the past year. So far, about 45 thousand students have registered. Typically it's about 8,000 a year. So that gives you a sense of just the need that there is when it comes to what has become known as the COVID gap, which is the academic regress regression. I should say the kids are suffering mainly because of online learning. Now here in Broward County, about 60,000 were identified as falling behind back during the school year. And there's been an effort uh, to get as many of those kids back in the physical classroom. This is a continuation of that effort. Notwithstanding that, we know that the struggles still continue and to the extent that we can extend not just academic learning, but enrichment opportunities, which we will have over the summer. That includes art, speech, debate, music, um, course, athletic programs. Those are being introduced wherever we can provide them to make sure that that becomes part of the learning experience as well because we know when kids have those kind of activities, um, it helps them to also flourish academically. It gives them a reason and a purpose to also wake up and go to school um, each day with engagement and enthusiasm. All right, so it's the first time we hear from the superintendent in a long time, the first time he's done a press conference. So naturally, we asked him out about the uh, criminal indictment. He does answer that. He also talks about his future. We'll share some of those thoughts coming up in the later shows. But for now, reporting live from Wilton Manors, I'm Hatsofala, Local 10 News.